Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to create virtual vocal harmony backing tracks in GarageBand. Tap on the vocal track header icon. Then tap on duplicate on the pop-up menu. Then tap on the vocal track header icon again. And tap on duplicate on the pop-up menu again. Now double tap on the vocal recording. Tap on copy on the pop-up menu. Then tap on the back to start icon to move the play marker line back to the start. Then double tap on the empty track of the first duplicate track. And tap on paste on the pop-up menu. Then tap on the back to start icon to move the play marker line back to the start. And double tap on the empty track of the second duplicate track. And then tap on paste on the pop-up menu. Now double tap on the track header icon of the first duplicate track. Tap on fun. Then tap on the monster icon. Now press your finger on the size icon and drag down the screen. Size sets how wide the sound is in the stereo mix. And as we are using the monster sound effect as a backing singer, we want the size as small as possible. Now press your finger on the space icon and drag down the screen. Space sets the amount of reverb added to the monster voice effect. But here we will use the master reverb instead. Now tap on the mixer settings icon. Backing singers are normally to the left or right of the main vocals. So press on the dot on the track pan slider and drag all the way to the right. Now press on the dot on the compressor slider and drag that all the way to the right. This will smooth out the vocal volume levels. Now press on the dot on the treble slider and drag it all the way to the left. And then press on the dot on the bass slider and drag all the way to the right. This will make the monster sound effect sound better in the mix. Now press on the dot on the echo slider and drag it about a quarter of the way to the right. This will help to smooth out the backing vocals. Now press on the dot on the reverb slider and drag it about halfway to the right. This will help the backing vocals sit behind the main vocals in the mix. Now tap on the play icon, then press on the dot on the track volume slider and drag left or right until the monster voice is quieter than the main vocals but can still be heard in the mix. This will usually be a little bit to the left of halfway to the right. Listen, do you hear them coming? Listen, do you hear them coming? Listen, do you hear them coming? One by one. Then tap on the mixer settings icon. Now tap on the track edit icon. Then double tap on the track header icon of the second duplicate track. Tap on fun. Then tap on the chipmunk icon. Now press your finger on the size icon and drag down the screen. Size sets how wide the sound is in the stereo mix. 
And as we are using the chipmunk sound effect as a backing singer, we want the size as small as possible. Now press your finger on the pitch icon and drag down the screen. Pitch sets how much higher than the original vocals the chipmunk voice will be. Here we will use the lowest pitch option, so the chipmunk vocal effect is less chipmunky. Now tap on the mixer settings icon. Backing singers are normally to the left or right of the main vocals. So press on the dot on the track pan slider and drag all the way to the left. Then press on the dot on the compressor slider and drag all the way to the right. This will smooth out the vocal volume levels. Now press on the dot on the treble slider and drag it all the way to the right. and then press on the dot on the bass slider and drag all the way to the left. This will make the chipmunk vocals sound better in the mix. Now press on the dot on the echo slider and drag about a quarter of the way to the right. This will smooth out the backing vocals. Then press on the dot on the reverb slider and drag about halfway to the right. This will help the backing vocals sit behind the main vocals in the mix. Now tap on the play icon, then press on the dot on the track volume slider and drag left or right until the chipmunk voice effect is quieter than the main vocals but can still be heard in the mix. This will usually be a little bit to the left of halfway to the right. Then tap on the mixer settings icon and tap on the track edit icon. Now to really make these backing vocals shine, tap on the chipmunk track header icon. Then tap on duplicate on the pop-up menu. Now double tap on the vocal recording and tap on copy on the pop-up menu. Tap on the back to start icon to move the player marker line back to the start. Then double tap on the empty track of the duplicate chipmunk track. And tap on paste on the pop up menu. Next double tap on the track header icon of the second chipmunk track. Now tap on the play icon and press the pitch knob and drag up until the second chipmunk voice sounds harmonically in tune with the main vocals. Now tap on the mixer settings icon and double tap on the dot on the track pan slider to center the track pan. Now press on the dot on the track volume slider and drag left until it is about one third of the way to the right. Then tap on the mixer settings icon then tap on the track edit icon.
If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.